Welcome back, everybody. Well, we've talked Easter candy, but how about a drink to celebrate the big holiday? Let's check in with our friend, the cocktail guru. He's always mixing up some delicious drinks, of course, and we know he won't let us down today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Passover. Jonathan Pogash here, the cocktail guru. I am excited to make an Easter themed cocktail for you some, with some ingredients you may not necessarily think would work well together. I'm all about that, right? And also with some traditional Easter ingredients. I'd love to get right to it. So first of all, I'm going to grab my Boston shaker, right? The mixing glass and the mixing tin. And I have my egg white. Uh, that's what I'm going to use, but this is an egg, obviously. Um, and I'm just going to separate it. Now, what does egg white do to a cocktail? You may have seen egg whites in cocktail. You may have even had an egg white in a cocktail. It creates this beautiful texture. Uh, let's, uh, and, and, you know, it's always a, a challenge to figure out where to dispose of that egg white. <laughs> We're just going to leave that right there. We're going to leave, leave the egg yolk right there and see what happens. So it creates a texture, nice froth. Now for this, I'm going to use uh, mezcal, uh, which is similar to a tequila, but it is made and produced in Oaxaca, Mexico, obviously, uh, from several different types of agave plants. Um, so tequila is actually a type of mezcal, but mezcal is not tequila. So uh, this will impart a nice smoky flavor to our cocktail. I'm adding one ounce of my mezcal. And now um, some chocolate liqueur. This is Marie Brazard Chocolate Royale liqueur. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is so decadent. Um, reminds me of Easter chocolates, which is why it's going in here. I'm also doing an ounce of that. And to kind of round out those flavors with a little touch of spice, I have some ginger syrup. And these are from my good friends over at Cheeky. We use these syrups and juices for our cocktail uh, box kits that we do for our team building mixology classes. If you're having a party, any kind of party, and you want it to be virtual, we can do a cocktail class. You can do it with me. You can do it with someone from my team. Okay. So now let's go ahead and give this a dry shake. So that's shaking without ice. And this will add some more emulsification. Say that five times fast, especially after a couple of cocktails. Emulsification. <laughs> and um, it will create that nice froth, right? Now I'm going to add my ice, uh, just like a traditional shaken cocktail. And there we go. I'm just realizing that I need a, uh, some sort of a glass to put this in. But that's okay because everything is right within arm's reach. So I'm still over here. I'm just heading off camera uh, to grab my cocktail glass over here. Here we go. Don't worry, guys. I'm still here. I'm still here, everybody. I'm still here. I'm still here. Here I am. Okay, so let's give it a shake. Right? A nice, vigorous shake. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to move this so that you all can see uh, with this close-up cam. And we'll give it a nice shake. All right, now we'll separate this shaker and we'll strain right into our glass. Check it out, everybody. We're gonna strain, hopefully we'll get a nice little froth on top. I do see a bit of a froth. It's really nice, really interesting. I'm looking forward to tasting it. Of course, we need to add a traditional Easter garnish. Oh my goodness, help me choose. Blue, pink, yellow. I'm gonna go with a contrasting color. Oh, there goes my egg yolk. Uh, and I am just going to do the yellow. Just flow right on top. There we go. Um, do we have a name for this drink? Naming contest. Cocktail naming contest. Shoot me a message over at, at the Cocktail Guru Instagram. Um, tell me what cocktail, what we should name this cocktail, and you'll get a special prize mailed directly to your door. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Ah.